first curves are two closely spaced horizontal curves that have deflection angles in the opposite direction. So for instance, this setup is a reverse curve system. We've got two horizontal curves and they turn in opposite directions. One of the key things about reverse curves is how we maintain our cross slope. So in a horizontal curve, so in an individual horizontal curve, we're going to go from normal crown on the tangent to our design super elevation in the center of the curve and then back to normal crown. We'll have the same thing in each curve. And as long as we have a small tangent piece, we're able to go from normal crown to design super elevation to normal crown back to the transition to the other curves, design super elevation, and then back to tangent with normal crown. The issue we run into is if we don't have enough room in between these two curves, so if we're going to take out these middle pieces, what we're going to have is we're going to have an issue where our cross slopes don't line up. So at the point where our reverse curves come together, these points do not line up and we're going to have an issue making these curves fit together. So that's really what we're worried about with for reverse curves or reverse curve system where the two curves are tying together and it really comes back to the cross slope and making sure you can fit the transition from super elevation to normal crown back to super elevation in the other curve that turns in the opposite direction.